Hi guys, I am just about to head down the street because it is time to stock my black water tank. Well guys, I am now in the car park of my local pet store. Um, decided to just go to a regular pet stock instead of ordering online from like live fish or something because I'm going pretty basic with the fish I've chosen to spotlight in this tank. And I think it actually works out a little bit cheaper here. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully they're pretty well. If I walk in and like there's dead fish in the tanks, then I'm just gonna have to find another local pet store, but he's hoping it's okay. Okay, well I got the fish. Um, that pet stock was actually really well maintained. Like there was no dead fish, no unwell fish. It was really good. They also had some really cool looking bedders. Um, and each bedder was in a separate tank as well, which is fabulous. They had like a metallic male and they have one of those males that's like a little bit metallic and they have a um yeah like a blue body and then red fins oh i was so tempted but they were like 40 dollars and i was like mm, i'm not spending that much on a better from a pet stock maybe from a breeder but not a pet stock um but i got my fish and i also got a pretty plant um i'm not sure where this one is going to go it might go in there's two tanks you can go. Go in the black water tank or it can go in the um, in Iris's little tank because it doesn't have a lot of plants in it. And I got my fish. And they are a bit spooked, which is fair enough. And if you can't see them there, you're going to see them when we get home. I'm very excited. They look really nice. So it's really cool. Alright, off we pop. this tank sort of contains the remnants of a bunch of different setups so it's got a it's got a bristle nose pleco in it uh, it's got a coolie loach which I never see it's got two auto catfish somewhere in here I think that's it so I thought that I would grab a bunch of neon tetras which are a pretty accessible fish Ooh, that's gonna overflow so there's actually too much water in this bag. At least for me to handle with this tank. So I need to take some out. The tetras are not going to be very happy about Do any other fish keepers just have like a crazy amount of plastic bands hanging around the house? Because I do. Alrighty, so let's take out some of this water. Let's try that. gallon black water setup. I was really tempted to do sparkling grammys. Um, I have one left from a group of three that I purchased just to see how they go. Sadly that last one passed away so that made me decide okay let's not do sparkling grammys this year. This time let's try 
neons again. So I used to have neons in a in this tank actually when it was used to house a male better, and that's pretty cool. But even though there was ten, I think because there was the male better and a bristle nose, they were just never comfortable. So they would always like pick at each other and fight, and it was awful. So this time, now that it's just them in this whole space of the tank, because the bristle nose tends to just stay down here or hide in the trunk. Hopefully, they're gonna go really well. I know they're gonna look really cool, so hopefully they actually behave well too. And yes, the tank is overflowing a little bit. But there's a towel down there, so it should be okay. So these guys have been in here for about 10 minutes now. And I'm just going to check the temperature and it might be about time to put them in. How I'm going to do this is I obviously don't want to use the water in the bag because fish shop, uh, pet shops are not the most healthiest places of water and you don't want to cross contaminate. So what I'm going to do is grab these guys. I'm going to pour them all into this net, hopefully, and then I'll be able to put them straight into the tank. I'm trying to do this as gently as possible, but I also don't want them to get stuck. Alright. This is pretty cool to see. But now it's time for them to go in. thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you really liked it and don't forget to hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss a single video. This black water tank is looking awesome, I'm really excited. Um, I will probably release a 10 minute fish gazing video once they're all coloured up so you'll get a really good look at how they look in this setup. But thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye!